The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the German DAX and the FTSE like we usually do each day. You see we've had a nice bounce off the bottom. But there's one chart that I think that uh, really deserves, deserves a lot of respect, and that is this one in the uh, Nikkei Dow. You'll notice here that uh, we've completed a monster ABCD pattern going back to October of 2018 down into January of 19 and then up into January of 2000. And then you can see how quickly we came down to this level. Folks, uh, you know, I'm a technician. You know, I really don't understand the fundamentals of what's going on out there. I quit looking at that stuff. <laughs> Actually, when I just got out of graduate school back when Hector was a pup and that dog's been gone for 12 years. Anyway, it's a it's really interesting when I look at these numbers and stuff and patterns that I see, I can give you what I think is, what I think is happening. But here again, it's a best guess scenario. And so what I'm going to do here over these next few minutes is try to put together what I think is happening in the world of the stock market and, and possibly bonds too. Okay, let me let me get you started here with one thing. If you remember, those of you, I started this show back in 2007, uh, right, uh, right before the the big crash, and. Uh what happened as we got into March of uh, 2009, you'll notice here that we were making this uh, big uh, three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, you, you look over there in the far right. This is the Dow Jones. You see the Dow Jones trading there at 7,000. The actual low came in at uh, 6,440, I believe, which was an exact 61% retracement from the low that we made in August the 2nd of 2000 and uh, excuse me of 1982 let's try that again of 1987 the 1987 low was 61 percent retracement of the low from 1982 so that's what i'm watching i'm just going to try to show you some of these things you know of what uh what, what i think is happening now remember this is my very best guess scenario all right this next this next uh, piece is a, a page out of my book, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint, that I wrote with Dr. Ruth Miller. This was this this was the actual one that got me really interested in the, the fact that these could possibly be related to astrological. Remember, I started looking at the cyclotech stuff back in 1970, and I, I realized after a while that, you know, some of those, those rules that they had and tenants were really not correct. And so what she showed me is that you'll notice the first black arrow on the far left were five planets at zero degrees. You'll see that happen twice. This happens to be October of 1974. And if you look at the one on the upper right black arrow, that was December of 1974. So we had a double, uh, uh, a double uh, uh, aspects happening. So we had a, a first bottom and then the higher bottom with the same type of conjunctions. You know, I had never seen that before. And so what we did was we started to go back and look at conjunctions and oppositions. And we saw that there was a high probability of cycles making highs and lows you know on these uh, particular ones later on this was going this was uh, when we started doing this in 1986 with her and 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 if one of the things that I I came up with was that possibly in 1987, because we had five of these little puppies coming together on August the 25th, 1987, that that might be a top in the stock market, and it was. And uh, that's when uh, I got on to FNN down in Los Angeles, and Bill Griffith had me on as a regular guest. And uh, I was actually friends with all those people because Sue Herrera, who started CNBC, was dating my best friend at the time, Jay Cross. And so I, I knew those, and I, I remember the first time 
time I was uh, being interviewed by Bill on TV, I was really scared. And he laughed and he said, look, he said, let's just, just you and I talk together, forget all the little red lights and stuff. And he said, it's going to go really fine. He said, I do this every day. And he said, you're going to make mistakes, but people are used to that. And so since that time, I never had any trouble. So it was okay. All right, let's move on to the, uh, where I think we are now. And I wanted to uh, get to one of the things I wanted to mention to you. Here's, here's what I was talking about. If you remember in January, I started talking about this monster thing between January 10th and January the 13th. Well, it's, it's ended up being out two weeks uh, uh, farther to the right. But you'll notice how all of these planets are lined up in that little red circle that I got in there. Look how, look how the rest of the the rest of the planets are not lined up. This, this is like being in a bowling alley and all the pins are lined up, you know, all in one line. And that, that, that hey, I don't know what it means. All I know, I've only seen this a few times. Um, Beak on the natural gas, uh, let's wait on that a little bit, Bubba. And because I think that there's, uh, there's other fish to fry and I'd like to be able to do that first. So here's where we were. And this is the same. Now, what I'm doing is this is a transit chart, just showing where the cycles are. Uh, you're going to get plenty of chance to buy natural gas, my friend. Here's March the 5th when we had that Bradley model coming in and the Dow was trading at 6440. That was March the 5th of 2009, just a, a few short uh, 11 years ago. You notice we had six planets at zero degrees. So that's, what I, that's why it was so very, very important. So that's it. Now, if you look at what we had here, this is where we were on the 9th here. This is the one we get from uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Norm Winsky, was happy enough to send this to me. We had the full moon, you notice. You notice how we have all these planets in basically three houses again. So that's what I think is happening, that we've made some type of a major top in here. And whether it's going to be something of monster proportions or not, you know, I, I really don't know. And believe me, folks, when I say I really don't know, I really mean I really don't know. Now, some big things happened this past uh, 36 hours or so. We've had a move in, in, in bonds that uh, we said that was very reminiscent of what happened in 1987. Uh, the bonds moved $25,000, 11000 on one day and 13000 on another. And they've given back quite a bit, and then they came back a little bit today. But there's a possibility that we've made a major top here in these bonds. But whether that's true or not, I don't know, but nobody else does either. All I'm doing is looking at the uh, just looking at the charts and trying to pay you know very very close attention to them. Um, I think that if I tried to talk any more about astrology, I would probably get myself confused. So I don't really want to do it. So I just want to try to keep it as simple as possible. When Dr. Miller tried to you know dr drive this stuff into me, I mean some of it was you know I, I still don't look at transit charts. I don't look at birth charts. I just look at the cycles, folks, and the patterns. The patterns is a th are the thing that that really tries to 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 put the thing in perspective about how much money you have to risk. If you'll remember, uh, one of the charts that we talked about last week was this one, uh, and we'll get this up here. One of our folks was kind enough to send this to us. This is where we were. Look, look at look what happened to these yields when, we, when the markets moved four percent. That was 82 low, the 87 crash, the, the uh, 09 low, and now we were up almost five percent in Treasury bonds, folks. In in three trading days, shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've uh, posted uh, the CME open interest uh, chart that I look at each day every time the market, especially when we're looking at highs like we're seeing in bonds and in the gold, I want to see if there's new buying coming in. And as you can see here, with that big move up above $1,700 an ounce, the gold had a drop in open interest. Folks, that's not bullish. That there's not that, that That's extremely bearish. My opinion, of course, we're seeing the same thing the last four or five days in the Treasury bonds, but the shorts have just absolutely gotten massacred. I've even heard rumors that there's going to be a special boat ride out there in St. Petersburg on the day of my demise where all, all the guys can get together and spread my ashes across the Tampa Bay area, which will be fun to see the fish have uh, have all that Italian DNA working in their system. Uh, folks, the, the zero interest rates, I know we hit zero interest rates in all the Treasury bills and Treasury bonds. That is not good. Uh, it doesn't help the banks. The banks can, you know, the banks control the money, and if they start losing, it doesn't look good. We are in a major bear market, folks, that started back on February the 26th. The SARS is the, well, SARS, excuse me, the coronavirus is the excuse but the reason is we've made a major top in the market my opinion of course and my re believe me my opinion is wrong a lot so pay very very close attention to it as getting back to that area back in 1972 73 74 uh, all the way through up to 76 i was trading through conti commodity i started there in 65 when it was clayton brokerage and they moved across the street uh, 21 was my broker and roy fassel managed the market uh, office there for roy longstreet and then he moved over with uh, conti commodity and so I started, and then I got very lucky, as a, you know, once in a while, the you know the blind horn, blind hog picks up an acorn, and oh my gosh! And when I look at what I, how I acted during those times, I, I really, uh, I really wonder, you know, how I kept. I know how I kept all the friends because I, I, we had a thing called the, the, the market was going. They had a bunker rainbow board, folks. Had red and green and white lights. Red, red, green, and yellow. Yellow was unchanged. Uh, red was down. Green was 
was up. And when everything went green on the board, everything was limited up, and you couldn't trade. And, and I would joke about it. I said, you know, this is Larry's law. You can sell short here because you can't lose any more today. Well, it would go up the limit the next day. Now, that was a big joke until 1974 when the lights were red and I was in front of the crosshairs of the deer. The deer had the car, not me. But during that time, I had helped a whole bunch of people, probably half a dozen or more that got into trouble with debit balances. And I was making so much money, it was like picking up change off the street because uh, it was nothing to give a few thousand dollars to someone that that needed it. And I, I and I did those things. That's what kept my sanity later on uh, in life. But uh, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. But just remember, folks, when the only way is up, the only way is down. That's a very important thing to remember. That's out of old Mr. Isaac Newton's rule book number two. Okay, let's uh, keep talking here just a little bit about the crude oil. Here's here's my 10 cent opinion in the crude oil. We've had a 10 percent break. Well, actually, 12 percent. Uh, Dennis, I know we've been on this. I know we're on the same uh, the same train. If you look here. This is the we're, this is where I think we're going in the crude. I think we're going to bounce up here to around 35, uh, 35 and a half. It's going to have a lot of difficulty in that area, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. I don't know if you folks know it or not. Do you realize what happened last night in the S and P? Does anybody understand the importance of what really happened? I mean, we were we were limit down on Friday. We were limit up last night. Now that that in itself is important, correct? But do you know the importance of the high last night in the S and P? We're going to use this as a little test. I see Dudette is not in the room this morning, so she would probably have the answer to it. Mr. Z might have the answer to it, and hey, I might not even have the answer to it. But the high last night in the S and P was uh, twenty eight. 79 and a quarter, okay? Uh, you yeah, know, no, no, it's not. Not 618 of yesterday's range, Mr. Bill, but you're very close. Um, the opening Sunday night when the collapse started, when we went down, uh, you know, more than 1,000 point, thousand points. No, it's not artificial. I'm going to show you in just a second here. But if you, uh, the high uh, Sunday night when the market opened, the first, the first print was 28.80. Now we came within three quarter uh, three quarters of a point of that high last night, and it was trading actively up at that area. I just want to show you. This is my two cents worth. This is something that I picked up from Mr. Hugard, who's uh, done relatively well over the years. I just want to get this up here to show you where we were. There's there's where we were. Now you can see on the far left over there. You see that 2880 post over there? That's where the big gap down came on March. Line. That's very important. Uh, and the fact that the market couldn't get above it. Now, it might get above it a little bit later, but if it's just truly a bear market, you're not going to get spot on, Marshall. If, if, if it's really a bear market, you're not going to get above 2880 today. And I, hey, I'm a technician. You know, I don't know. I don't watch the news. I don't care about the news. I don't trust the news. But that's an important number to pay very, very close attention to. And if we're looking at the same type of thing, what we ought to do is to look to see how well it looks at ever, ever uh, market. So Peak is asking me, did ever meet any rock stars like Jim Morrison? Well, I met uh, someone bigger than Jim Morrison. I met uh, uh, <laughs> Stevie Wonder, of course, and I also met uh, the king himself of the Rolling Stones. So <laughs> and anyway, he, he's, he's crazy enough. I could tell you stories about um, the, the Rolling Stones, but anyway, it's, uh, yeah, I, I just met, I was on an elevator once with Elvis, but you know, I didn't run in that to Mick Jagger yet. I didn't run in, I didn't meet the other one either. Uh, what's his name? Um, the one that uses all the drugs. I can't remember. Those guys are my age. What am I talking about? Well, a little younger than me. Anyway, uh, I, I, I didn't meet very many. Oh, I mean, Ricky Nelson. Nelson. I hired Ricky Nelson at a party once. That was great. Keith Richards, yes. But um, I did. Uh, I spent three hours with uh, with uh, Ricky Nelson. Uh, he came to the house and performed. He showed up on a motorcycle with one of his buddies who was a magician, and they were to perform for 45 minutes, and they stayed for three hours. And, gosh, there must have been 100 people uh, there coming to say And he was such a nice young man. Oh, my God. Well, he's my age, but uh, he was just absolutely – has some great pictures uh, from that era, but unfortunately, uh, they were destroyed in the fire. 
that came directly at the time of my divorce. Let's move on to a couple things here with the market here that we need to uh, discover. Uh, if, we're, if we're looking at something like that, and we looked at the 382. Let's take a look at a market that really is really ripe for a what we call a little bit of a correction. Now, this is a to me, being a technician, this happens to be a very important chart. So let's just uh, give you my humor me just a little bit. I'm going to get this up here. This is the Treasury bond 60 minute. You can see the Sunday night gap where we gapped up. And we went all the way up to 192. That was a $13,000 move overnight. Last yesterday, we dropped from 192 all the way down to 179, 13,000. You'll notice the key number there that's written there at 164.12. What? 184.12. Watch that puppy. Because if we don't get any higher than that today, that's going to mean that they're shutting the doors on the bonds. And with that open interest dropping like it is, that's not good. 877 927 Six six four eight. Keep those cards and letters coming in. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. We have a caller from Pennsylvania. Robert, are you there? Yes, good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you very much. You were very lucky, pal. You got call number 101. You waited a long time, but thanks for waiting. What can I help you with, my friend? Well, I had uh, two things. The first is I know that uh, 
your perspective on treasury bonds and you know how does it make sense and going to you know zero percent interest and negative rates i heard a really interesting segment driving into work this morning and it was talking about the risk of buying treasury bonds right now because they said look at the interest you're going to receive which is virtually nil and they said compare that to what you would lose in principle if the interest rates actually crept up to one or two percent over the next couple of two or three years you would really put yourself in a bad situation absolutely that's exactly right but people don't look at it that way when you have you know uh, greed you know staring you in the face fear is a little easier to measure but greed's a little tougher i, I agree with that 100 percent but uh you know it doesn't make any economic sense to me robert but you know not much stuff does anymore <laughs> So uh, that, that was just a comment, and then I had a question on, can you take a look at coffee and let me know if you think that uh, we have uh, we, we've bottomed out yesterday and we're backwards on an upward trend, or just let me know your thoughts? Yeah, sure. I'll be happy to do that. Do you want to stay on the line? or Why don't you just stay on the line here, and I will pull up the coffee chart and see if we can uh, find it here without too much. I don't trade coffee at all, but I do have it listed here somewhere in the old uh, uh, realm here. Just bear with me one second here. Where is it? Oh, maybe I'm lying. I know it's here. Oh, I know where it is. Just give me a second. I have to move over to my uh, to my futures section. I'm watching uh, stock indices right now. So if you'll bear with me, all I have to do is to go here and go to layout and go to my futures. Where is uh, uh, where do you live in Pennsylvania, Robert? Well, it must have come across the line wrong. I'm in, I'm in Overland Park, Kansas. Oh, OK. Oh, oh wow. OK, good. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, th this is acting pretty good. It's uh, you know we're acting really good for a bottom in copper or in uh, in the uh, in the coffee. Let's bring the chart up for us. But you notice we had that big Gartley form up here at 122, and we came down. Uh, 106 was the 61 percent retracement, and we're trading at 113. Uh, that that looks bullish to me. And not okay. only that, that's, right. a, that's a one that's a one three five pattern. You had a lower low on February twenty uh, fourth than you did on the third, and you had the sixty one right to the right to the tick. 106, if you believe in Fibonacci numbers, that was a 61% retracement at 106. And right now we're trading here on the 10th at uh, 113. As long as it doesn't get below 106, it looks, you know, looks strong to me. What would be your projection for it? Uh, well, if you just looked at the, just a simple A, B, C, D, and and, we're, we're, and because coffee jumps around a lot, uh, you could easily see 132. I'll bring this up, and you'll be able to see it when you log on and take a look at it. You'll see that you're looking at, uh, you know, 132 is what you'd be looking at. All right. Well, great. Thank you so much for taking my question. Have a good hey, day. Thank, thank you, Robert, and happy holidays to you when we come up to the next one, which will, I believe, will be uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I understand that uh, Ireland stopped all St. Patrick's Day parade. Boy, that tells you how bad things are getting. Okay, let's wow. move on to the... Yeah, I know. That's really something. Let's take a look at that Australian dollar for uh, Ruby because uh, uh, she's always in there. It'll be Christmas before we know it. You got that right, Bubba. If we take a look at that Australian dollar, you can see the monumental move we had yesterday, folks. That was a $10,000 move in the Australian dollar. And that thing usually moves like uh, melted butter very, very slowly. So it's, uh, yeah, fear is a very powerful thing, Marshall. You're absolutely uh, the, the absolutely the truth and then you know fear of the two emotions fear and greed fear is a much greater emotion because it has physical characteristics you know the dilated pupils the sweating diaphoresis dryness of the mouth chalkiness in the mouth uh, you know your fingernails uh, your fingertips become uh, you know a white and stuff like that and the reason why I know that every morning when I get up to shave I see that same picture in the mirror that's the one thing I haven't had any chance to uh, worry about here but anyway that's an interesting one to pay close attention to so the next thing we want to do is to move back into the realm of this other stuff that we're watching just so we can keep an eye on some of the other things uh, uh oh now i got a data problem oh dear i needed this like i needed a uh have my temperature taken okay this is not going to be fun all right let's move on to uh 
talk just a tiny bit about the virus because I really don't I really don't understand much about it. All I do know is that we've been through these things before. Let's just get these. Oh dear, where did I where did I put it? Yeah, not good. I moved it around too much, and now I'm, I've got my data has just shut down, which I, doesn't make me very happy. I wanted to show you the uh, relationship that we're looking at in the gold market when it hit. Uh, 1704. Those of you that follow ABCD patterns and belong to 24-7, I sent out a chart on that in the video describing what was happening up there at that 11704 and why I think it was so very important. We did break $40 very quickly. The rally we've had back has been virtually nothing. That's another sign that I believe that this gold is headed lower and not higher. Uh, so those are just a few of the things that uh, I think we're watching this morning as we look at uh, some of these other charts. If uh, the, I'm unfortunately now, I am in a situation where I have virtually no data, and that'll be corrected shortly. But right now, I'm not able to do that. Let me uh, give you an idea of what I'm watching. I happen to be watching one of the stocks uh, for a friend that uh, is, app, hap, is trades a stock very heavily, and this happens to be the stock of uh, Tesla. And I wanted you to see uh, what happened last night. This was uh, this was Tesla from the 3rd of March. You see, we dropped down, and we had a $80 rally in Tesla last night to 682. If you notice, that was a 382 retracement from the high on the 3rd. Third, so as long as Tesla doesn't get above that, that tells us that we're going to be uh, looking at a lower market in Tesla sometime today, and we're still up about 60 bucks. So that's an important one to uh, pay attention to. I'm going to have to reboot this computer at the break, and uh, hopefully we'll get that thing uh, all taken care of. Uh, another question that somebody asked was uh, about the commodities. I had a long discussion with Simon only yesterday. Uh, he is beginning to get very bullish on the uh, uh, on the grains and stuff but it's still a little early he realizes that and uh, he has a or poll he has like 400 employees and if uh, if we look at some of these things uh, you're going to be looking at a situation where you've got a uh, uh, a weather situation that they they spend he has a whole group on weather there's a possibility this weather could get really crazy on top of what we're looking at and the problem is is we could see a cooling trends coming in and Sai says that this could be accentuating the uh, virus because the vi the um, the virus it works really good in uh, grows really good in cold but it doesn't grow uh, good when it's very hot like here in Tucson we had our first uh, first case here in Tucson just uh, just recently. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. 
The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Get back on here. 10 4, if I can hear me now. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got game. All right, let's move on here. Thank you very much, folks. I had to reboot, and the reason why is I have people that listen to what I say, if you can believe that, and so we got to pay close attention. Um, we really need to uh, – this the stock market is extremely weak. It's going to continue weak. Uh, the, the worst thing that can happen today is we had a high of 28.79 overnight, and if we start going down – Markets go down a lot faster than they go up, so you know, pay pay close attention to that because it's uh, it's very very important. Also, to uh, to watch the the price of those bonds uh, up at that one uh, what do you call it 184 level or whatever it is. Uh, keep a keep a close eye on that. That will be interesting to see if uh, that is going on uh, as we speak here this morning. Ideally, uh, if it's bullish, we're going to get above 2880. I don't believe we're going to do that, but there's a possibility that we could do it. Regarding the limit up and limit down situation, I've been through those a long time. The problem is the limits that we're having now are so immense that, uh, you, you know, you're talking about uh, 200 points in the S&P, that's $10,000. I mean, to give you an example, you know, back when we were worried about limits, you know, limit was around 1500 you know, at the most $2,000 in beans and stuff like that. Even with gold, the gold, the limit used to be $25. That was only 2500 So you can see that these limits are, you got to be careful. Folks, if you can't use stops here, you better not even be thinking about trading because you could be looking at something that's going to be really very, very detrimental to your health. So just try to remember that. Uh, the, the, some of the markets are holding up relatively well. The, the number that we hit last night in the S&P was extremely important. As I mentioned, it was within three quarters of a point of the opening that we had on Sunday night at 2880. From 2880, we went all the way down to 27 and change, I believe, 2705, something like that. And uh, now we right, we bounce back a little bit. So we're going to see if that's the case. I'm still not able to pull up the uh, chart that I wanted to see on the gold to show you the statistics behind the gold of why that level of, one, of uh, 1704 was so very, very important. Folks, these algorithmic traders that are out there, you know, these guys that use mathematics, the thing that they base their they're uh, buying and selling on are the standard deviations from the mean. Uh, John Jameson has proved this to me over the past uh, several months that uh, it's just amazing when you go to one standard deviation, two standard deviations, you know, it tells you, a, a, you know, a lot. And that's that's one of the reasons why when we started gapping down, we were looking at these projections a lot lower. Someone asked me my projection of this ABCD move. Well, we've looked at it several times and we already know that it's uh, comes in 
in at around 2600 I believe. But uh, that doesn't mean it can't go lower. The problem that we're having, folks, is, and I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but if we get into a situation, look, Italy shut down today. For, that's a whole country. Are you kidding me? You can't even get pasta anymore. Pretty soon, well, France stopped uh, uh, airplanes today, uh, flights. So you, you wake up some morning and, uh, you know, they might shut down something else. We're going to get through this. This is this is this is acceptable to get through uh, because of the hey that's my guess again I don't I don't I don't know so let's just uh, keep that in mind watch these levels that I'm talking about I'm just a technician but I I do believe in these numbers quite a bit so watch those numbers uh, 184 uh, in the bonds and. Uh, 2880 in the S&P. Those are the really key ones to pay close attention. And also 1704. Should we get above 1704 now in the gold, which I don't think we will be getting above that. But if we do, then the number that we're looking at is 1745 per ounce. That's a long-term 78% retracement on the weekly chart going back to 2011. So that's the main thing. Oh, dear. Someone's asking me a, a question about... Uh, Emergency supplies. Number one is make sure you have enough tissue paper, Kleenex, paper towels. Well, you can live without paper towels. And then also the Italian stock certificates, the rolling stock certificates. Make sure you have plenty of that because you don't want to get back to the old cowboy way of uh, leaves and twigs. Uh, uh, we're going to make it. You know, water's going to be okay. You know, the, the the good part about this fact it's only the old people that are dying, and you know they've lived long enough anyway. So as long as the little kids don't start dying, which they seem to have some type of immunity, that's a good thing. And the mortality rate seems to be a little uh, worse or less than uh, some of these other things that we've seen. But it's still, uh, you see what's happening, folks, is you're seeing the fear. And the fear is transporting over to the to the stock market because people are seeing their 401k drop 25 percent or 20 percent in just a matter of a couple of weeks. You know that's not supposed to happen. But you know the, when the only way is up, the only way is down. So we got to remember that as we as we look at these things uh, uh, as we go through here. Let's see how we're looking right now. We're almost if we start getting below 2780 in the S&P, that's going to be a pretty big. Uh, pretty good time to uh, take a look at something that would be uh, real interesting. So let's pay attention to that. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we have a guest on the line, a mystery guest. Mr. Z, how you be? I am excellent. I uh, want to mention just or ask two things. Uh, first, first thing is just a big thank you. Uh, your, pa your cool assessment, your cool and calm assessment pattern-wise during uh, huge volatility, it is, just so, uh, it is just so valuable. It's peaceful. So thank you on that. Second, yeah. regarding corn, beans, wheat, can you just elaborate, please, in your conversation with Simon only? Uh, potential for upcoming adverse or unusual weather. Uh, is it the prospect for uh, late, uh, uh, late spring, too wet, too cold, too hot, too dry? Could you just elaborate what you heard him thinking, please? Sure, but as far as my, uh, that's, that's what they call a sophisticated wild guess is what I did on those patterns. So we got lucky that time. But Cy basically is saying they're worried about the weather patterns that they're seeing from South America and that they're thinking that there's going to be some cold weather coming in uh, for the summer and spring. In other words, a, a cold, cooler summer, uh, early fall, uh, very heavy winter. But, you know, these are uh, things that, you know, you can't go too far out with the weather to, to make a prediction. But they're basing it on the cycles of the past, and that's the one thing that they are looking at uh, very, very closely. They have been, uh, you know, very, very uh, uh, negative on the markets uh, for some time. They turned bullish uh, late last week, and they started buying, you know, they started uh, doing some soybean business. They do a lot of it. You know, I don't know if you know this, uh, Z, or not, but uh, Sai's Cy, company, which was bought out by a farm bureau in January of last year, they hedge about 2 percent of all the crops. Uh, in the United States. So they have a pretty good idea of what's going on that, in the farm. Yeah, yeah that, the farm. that uh, firm that he was with that got bought Silvius out of Indiana. Now, those yes. guys are expert, uh, very deep uh, penetration into the crop insurance and hedging business, absolutely. Yes, they sure. Stay with us, Mr. Z, please. Oh, my your, gosh. Uh, your, sh your show is done, my friend. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Where did the time go? We'll see you on the flip-flop. God bless you, my son. Thanks so Take much. Take it easy. You bet. Bye-bye.